We go 3-1-1 one, and one on the Power 5 yesterday. I'll take it. Now an outstanding 51-24-3 run on the show the last two plus weeks. Yes, you heard that right. 51-24-3 record. My word. Go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. In a little bit, I'm going to be reminding you how you can get the next three days of my premium selections at wagertalk.com for just $49. That includes all of Saturday college football and Sunday NFL. But first, I've got five Major League Baseball winners for you. Absolutely free. That won't cost you a cent. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these plays. We're going to start over eight in Rays Orioles. Big scheduling edge here for Baltimore. They were off Thursday after taking two or three earlier in the week here at Camden Yards from the White Sox. As for Tampa Bay, they just wrapped up a hard-fought series at home versus Minnesota yesterday. Of course, if you watched the Power Five, you knew to fade the Rays in the first five yesterday. That was a winner. Uh, for today, despite the scheduling edge for the Orioles and the fact that they've owned the Rays this season largely, 8-2 and two at head-to-head record, like I said earlier, I'm going the over here. Uh, again, that number is 8. I would probably play it to 8.5. The reason I like the over, now Baltimore's, I really don't trust O's starter, Dean Kramer. He's got a 4.81 ERA and a 1.46 whip at home this season. Also, six of Kramer's last seven starts, the game has finished with nine or more total runs. But while I don't trust Kramer, I do trust the Baltimore Bats in this game. The number three in all of MLB and runs scored, Shane Baz, the starter here for Tampa Bay, 1.43 whip on the road, so he's guilty of allowing a decent amount of runners. That should cost him here. I expect plenty of runs in this game again. Think the bullpens will give up a few as well. Over eight, it is in Rays Orioles. Now, I talked about the schedule favoring Baltimore in that matchup. The same old tr- holds true for Kansas City in its series opener against Minnesota tonight. So our second play on the Power 5 for Friday is going to be Royals money line. That should be around minus 145. Last we saw the Royals, they were snapping a seven-game losing skid. Uh, they do so here at home, beat the Guardians 4-1 to one on Wednesday. And Casey was off yesterday, just like Baltimore. Meanwhile, Minnesota, again, wrapping up the tough series in Tampa Bay. Now they're heading to Kauffman Stadium. What's with the deal with the Royals at home? We always talk about it. Their offensive numbers go way up uh, in their home park. And they've got Cole Reagans on the mound to the Royals on Friday. Reagans is the one starter in this rotation I like. Not a fan of Seth Lugo, not a fan of Brady Singer, not a fan of Michael Lorenzen. But the lefty Reagans is someone worth investing in Friday. He has held Minnesota to three runs or fewer all three times he's faced them in 2024. Meanwhile, on the mound here for the Twins, Zebby Matthews. Old Zebby got tagged for nine runs in just two innings his last time out. And that was against Toronto. Doesn't have a very good lineup. Uh, Because the Royals' shaky bullpen, I was really tempted to cut this game in half and just play the first five, but I'm confident in my handicap that they're the right side in this one. KC, money line, full game. Okay, not only are we rolling on the power five, guys, but over at wagertalk.com, I'm on a perfect 4-0 heater the last two days. Yes, back-to-back sweeps. Cash the first half under 23.5 in Ravens Chiefs. A nice start to the NFL season. Sucks we had to settle for a push here on the Power 5 with the full game total. Uh, nevertheless, 16-7-1 overall run. That's 69% over the last 13 days in all sports for me at wagertalk.com. And yes, if you head over to my page right now, wt.buzz/bp, you get the next three days uh, of winning picks for just $49. That's an instant $20 savings. Back to the Power 5, however. Uh, I've got a couple more totals for you today in MLB. Under 8, D-backs, Astros. Eventually, I may want to start playing Houston in this series, but not tonight. Uh, the Strolls are licking their wounds a bit after getting swept in Cincinnati. This is the first time in a month that the team has dropped three in a row. But tough to like Houston here against the rested Arizona lineup that continues to pace all of baseball in runs scored. And the D-backs, they've got Brandon Fott going. I like Fott. I backed him in his last start right here on the Power 5. There was some skepticism about backing him against the Dodgers, but what did Fott do? He had 10 strikeouts over five and two-thirds innings in that start. He allowed only two, uh, three runs. Pardon me. Uh, D-backs, they're 6-1 and one in Fott's last seven starts. But I also like Houston starter... 
Framber Valdez. And how can you not like Valdez? He had seven no-hit innings his last time out. The Astros have gone 9-1 and one in Valdez's last 10 starts. He has a 1.37 ERA and .71 whip his last three. These are two very solid starters, obviously, guys. Remember, Houston lost yesterday by a score of one nothing. Should be another low-scoring affair for them on Friday. I like the under-8 in D-backs Astros as I fix my collar. Another under, Mariners Cardinals, under 7.5. St. Louis, they continued their season-long voodoo. I don't know how this team is still in contention with a run differential like that. Uh, they took two or three from Milwaukee earlier in the week. This is another team on Friday slate with a scheduling edge. Uh, St. Louis off yesterday. Seattle wraps up a four-game series in Oakland. Uh, the Mariners were winners. Mark Zinno, my good friend, gave you a first five winner on that one in the morning wager. But tonight, the Cardinals are going to have to deal with Bryce Miller. He's got a 1.88 ERA his last five starts. On the flip side, we know the Mariners can't hit. One of the worst offensive teams in all of baseball. Old Eric Fetty Wap should do just fine in the starters role for St. Louis tonight. Runs will be at a premium in this one under seven and a half. Final play. Something for you degenerates staying up late. Going to take Oakland plus one and a half. That should be around minus 125 at home against Detroit. Tigers are off a stunning win last night. Uh, they got a ninth inning grand slam to beat the Padres in San Diego by a score of four to three. Save for the first two games of that series, the Tigers have been playing well of late. I can see that point, but make no mistake about it. This team should never be a favorite of this size on the money line. Even with Tariq Skubal pitching, Oakland a lot more competitive at home than on the road. We know that. They took the first two games against Seattle uh, here at, by the Bay. And their starter for tonight, Mitch Spence, he's allowed two runs or fewer, six of his last eight starts. I like that. Just think it's a good price to grab the one and a half run head start. So play the A's on the run line let us now recap the power five for friday over eight raise orioles number two royals money line should be around minus 145 against the twins number three under eight d-backs astros number four under seven and a half Mariners Cardinals and number five Oakland run line plus one and a half should be around minus 125 against Detroit you can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Sorry, no football uh, for Friday, guys. I don't want to force plays. I'm not going to tell you to bet football games if I don't think there's an edge. I will let you know I do have Green Bay uh, in the NFL game as part of a teaser. I cashed Baltimore in the first leg of that teaser. I'm hoping Green Bay can stay with in eight points to make it a 2-0 start in the NFL. So that's my take on the NFL game. If you want to find something to tease with Green uh, on Sunday, if you want to find something to tease with Green Bay plus eight, I would say go ahead and do that. Nothing in the two college games tonight. I don't like either of them. If you already haven't done so, by the way, go ahead and smash that like button. I always appreciate your support. A reminder, go grab that three-day all-access pass for $49. In addition to being on a 16-7 and one all-sports run the last 13 days, including those back-to-back -back sweeps, perfect 4-0 the last two days, with the win in the NFL, I'm on a 22-10 and 10 college football run going back to last season. Did I mention I'm also a ridiculous 39-14 and 14 on Saturdays going back to April? That bodes well for the college football season. I'm also on an 8-1 and one run with totals in all sports after hitting that first half under last night. Again, just head over to wt.buzz slash bp. That's where you'll find all my premium selections this weekend. Programming note, there's going to be a college football edition of the Power 5 dropping Friday evening. There's going to be an NFL edition of the Power 5 dropping Saturday morning. That's going to be the case all throughout football season. So make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, can't forget about the morning wager, Mark Zinno and myself. A real hoot, if I do say so myself. Every Monday through Friday, we do that show. That does it, though, for the Power 5 here on Friday. Let's keep rolling, guys. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.